recording. Uh, I do have to check still, make sure that my mic is working this time. All right, sounds like maybe it is. I have my box here. I got the boxes there. I don't have anything soft to sit on. Squally, where are you? You're pretty soft. You too, buddy. Hang on, let me grab a pillow real quick. There's one right here, or there should be. Oh, well, that's not a pillow, but it's just as good, I think. Oh, oh no, oh, avalanche, closet avalanche. Oh. Ah. Okay. Let's try this. It's always so hard for me to decide which side of this is the back. I guess that'll do. All right. Okie dokie. Here we go. I'm going to sit right here. Might as well just leave the water. I guess these fish are about done, though, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Okay. They're going to need a charge. I'll just put them out here to dry off. There we go. And that's a little waterlogged, too. What I need now is one of our ping pong balls to turn up. That would be fun. Okay. Let me check the chat, make sure we're all doing everything okay. Hey, there's a ping pong ball right here. <laughs> That's using your noggin. Look, somebody's already stolen one from here. Might as well take the next one. Here you go, guys. You ready for this? Now what? All right, looks like everything's good. So let's see what we have for news and letters to start out with. Uh, News-wise, boy, I feel like I had stuff to talk about. Uh, we dewormed the kids again yesterday. Um, so I'm hoping, uh, in theory, two doses of pyrantal two weeks apart should get just about everything. And if we give them another one in two weeks, that'll do for sure. So we shouldn't expect to see them looking too wormy from here on out. I think the uh, everybody except Bill has kind of started to become kitten-shaped. Uh, Bill still very pear-shaped, um, but I'm sure, you know, he's a few weeks behind too, so he'll get, he'll get caught up. I know he will. Uh, I was just looking to see where he was. I guess he's over by the front door. He was a minute ago. All right. Uh, what else is news this week? We took Till in for her spade. She's been spayed. Very good. Um, we did a course of metronidazole for everybody, uh, and that seemed like it helped quite a bit, and, oh man, I feel like I'm forgetting something huge and obvious and dumb, but, uh, but, uh, I'll, you know, I'll come back to it if I think of it, so there we go. Okay, uh, meanwhile, let's see, so this envelope, uh, extremely decorated, and it's sealed with a little thing that says birthday, and there's a cat, a cat and a unicorn, uh, and a little um, uh, dinosaur, um, and it says, but first, coffee. Oh, and it's from Mayhem Boozle. Look at that. All right. Mayhem and Bamboozle. Hey, buddy, what are you looking at, Quiddy? Do you want to sit in my lap? I know you don't, but you should. Aw, so cute. It's, a, uh, it's like a um, uh, marker drawing of... I think, of a, of a little orange kitty rubbing on someone's legs, and it says, I find you acceptable. That is adorable. It's a very cute drawing. Oh, it says it's from tmoriginalsart.com. I guess TM Originals Art. Uh, Mr. A and DJ, I took a quick trip out to Seattle last week. Uh, and found an adorable selection of cards and stickers at a little store in Pike's Place Market. So I had to choose a few to send to KA along with uh, stocking up for myself. I also visited the Neko Cat Cafe where I'd reserved a time to spend an hour in a room with adorable adoptable kitties. Such a fun, wonderful concept. You could get a coffee slash other drink to enjoy while visiting them. I see. Uh, it was, uh, I, my emphasis on that was weird. Let me try again. You could get it, you could, you... <coughs> You can get a coffee, other drink to enjoy while visiting them. It, uh, while visiting, it was almost like getting to be a shiny butler for a little bit uh, and without any litter box cleaning. <laughs> That's super cute. This guy's super cute. Bill is just the cutest, scruffy little floofball. 
I am so happy you were able to take him in and join the uh, uh, join the adorable Petty Cash family. All the classes at KA are the best, but this one is especially prosperous with cuteness. Hopefully, the, uh, these will be lots of there will be lots of interest when it comes to time for them to be withdrawn from KA by a duders. The girls wanted to write you guys a note, so that's included. They worked very hard on it. Many spoogles. KA bless. 17. All right. I love the stickers you picked out. We have a kitty sleeping with coffee. We have a kitty uh, that's laying on with his belly exposed that says, it's a trap. And there we go. I got it. And uh, we have a little space kitty with his little space helmet on. Uh, I like all those. And then we have a note here on note paper, <laughs> double space. So cute. Mr. A and DJ, hi, Bamboozle here, and guess what? It was our birthday last weekend, and we turned one year old. We thinks that sounds old, but our mom says we will always be her baby kittens. We also heard her say our big sis, Daisy, is 17 years old, which is a lot of years. We hopes we are as playful as she is when we has that many years old. To celebrate, we gets extra treats, uh, a new cardboard couch, and new toys from our endowment box. We likes the couch, but are going to avoid it for a while. Going to wait until mom is certain we don't like it and be disappointed and then start laying in it all the time. <laughs> uh, okay, my turn. Mayhem here. We misses you lots, but mom always has the stream on when she is home. So we gets to see you and hear you lots, which we love. Sometimes I jump, uh, jump up right next to the TV to see if I can play with the tinies. Our mom went on a trip last week, but we weren't too sad because the nice lady and her boyfriend came to stay again. They loves playing with us and gives us lots of churu. We thinks mom is silly for going all the way across the country to see one of her favorite bands play, but we have to admit we like Coldplay too after listening to them lots. Whatever makes her happy, happy human means happy kittens. Tell Uncle Barry and Uncle Aru hi for us. Love, mayhem, and bamboozle. P.S. Our mom says we aren't allowed to have coffee. Please tell her Java is good for kitties. <laughs> So cute. Oh, thank you so much for writing to us. That's very sweet for their birthday. I thought that might be the case, but I have no sense of time. So uh, that's sweet. Wow, whole year. It seems like they were just here causing trouble. So uh, thank you so much for writing that. That's super sweet. I hope the concert was a good one. And uh, let's see. I want to make sure these stickers get upstairs to my sticker collection, and then these can go uh, with the rest of the archived mail. All right, well, now I don't know exactly which things we open next, but this one um, says, please do not bend, and it looks uh, like it's super uh, something to be handled carefully. So I thought maybe we should take care of it first so the kittens don't, I don't know, bite it or something before we know what's going on. There we go. Um, oh, somebody already did. I see this little corn has been chewed on, and it's, it's freshly saliva as well. So hopefully there's a little bit of a buffer between the edge of this and whatever's inside. Also, I need to open it very carefully. I'm hoping that I've done that successfully. Okay. Let's find out what this could possibly be all about. I am trying very hard not to bend anything here. Yep. I think there's an, another envelope in here, which is good. Oh, it's a, it's a USPS. It's a, one of those Mylar envelopes. Okay, I think I see what's going on. And uh, once I get that out, perfect. Good. All right. Normally you see this the other way, where someone's taken a, a, an envelope and put it inside the, the USPS envelope, but here we get the reverse. Good, you gotta keep that balance. Okay, there we go. All right, I feel like I'm opening some secret document because here we have a folder now and all that and an envelope. So this says Mr. A and DJ and is all done with Halloween stickers, little kitties and puppies dressed up as various Halloween-y things. Also a flying eyeball. All of these are actual animals, dogs and cats dressed up and then one flying eyeball. Um... Yeah, you know, why not? That'd make a good pet, too. All right. I should have got out the letter opener, but I have a thumb. There we go. 
Aw, so cute. It says, it's Halloween, and it has a black cat dressed up as a bat with big old bat wings. Ooh, inside we have some very cool vintage postcards. Uh, and it says, dear Mr. and Dr. DJ, you deserve a little Halloween fun, and I'm not kidding. Scare up some fun. Thank you. Sending love and best wishes, peace and kittens from Cecilia. Thank you so much, Cecilia. It's good to hear from you. Uh, so we have this um, uh, evil-looking witch sitting on top of a pumpkin with her cat. And some little devils there. We have uh, this young lady looking in a mirror that is also a pumpkin. And at the top... Uh, we have a cherub for some reason and some apples lined up and an owl and a cat uh, and it's a strange composition i wonder what it meant to whoever was doing it there we go here we have godzilla king of the monsters i mean what do you say about that it's like a vintage movie poster oh we have another one too destroy all monsters those are super cool <laughs> those are all really cool old vintage postcards i like that and uh that's fun thank you very much cecilia but what's in the big orange envelope? That's what we all want to know, isn't it? Let's find out. Oh, well, there's an eyeball for one. So that's a thing. Oh, man, that is really an eye, isn't it? That's something. All right. And, oh, look at that. Who knew there was such a thing as a Halloween advent calendar? But there appears that there is. Uh, from American Greetings, there we go. We got a witch in her cauldron, and there's a little uh, thing to open for each day of the month and then finally we have something called 3d shimmers lighted embellishment oh wow it's a little tombstone with a zombie hand coming out of the grave uh and a lightning bolt that must be the part that lights up but how do we oh like that that's how we do it okay but then where do we how do we place this some um, oh i see it's a no no i don't see no i really don't uh, it's some kind of paper art, but I'm a little confused about how to make it art. How do we how do we art it? No, oh, oh, it's actually there's like a stack of things, so it must be somewhat interesting. Whatever's going on here, does it just spread out like straight out? I bet that's my bet is that you can just pull it out and. Uh, whoop. But that's not the case at all. No, it doesn't pull out. I see those are foam to hold the electronics in there. Whoops. Oopsie daisy. Okay, so that's what it's all about. There we go, but it's got a hanger. It's a door hanger. Okay, look at that. We figured it out. Uh, baffled by simple things that you can buy at the Hallmark store. That's uh, that's just, you know, well, whatever. Par for my course anyway. All right, Cecilia, thank you. That's super cute, and it does. Uh, I, I need to decorate for Halloween. Hopefully, I can get up the, the time and uh, energy to get that done this weekend, because this weekend is definitely the right time for it. So we'll see about that. I'm trying to hang this up right here using this cute little ribbon, but it's just not going for it. Okay, well, that'll do. Um, Cecilia, thanks. That's super cute. Hello. Oh, well, somebody's out together that shouldn't be, and I'm guessing it's Logan. Was that Loganberry? Oh, I think Loganberry was involved, and it was probably Loganberry and what's her name? But Till's right there. It could have been her. She's over there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe I should, if I just switch Loganberry for custard, then we won't have that problem. Custard doesn't do that? No, custard's cool with everybody. Well, Logan, you need to go back in here. Sorry, pal. I thought you could come out for a little while, but you can be a troublemaker, buddy. Hang on now. I know, quit. I'm making you go through a lot just because you wanted to hang out. I know, buddy. Okay, there we go. How do you like that mic? Oh, right here. There we go. Okay, well, again, uh, Cecilia, thank you for the Halloween stuff. Kind of a reminder, too, that we should do that. And I like the advent calendar. That's fun. Uh, I'm curious to see what you put behind a window in the uh, Halloween advent calendar. I guess it probably is a little spooky thing, right? Let's find out. Let's do. Let's do the first. It's not the first today, is it? But... Where is the first? I'm having some trouble finding the number one. Is there a number one? Oh, there it is on the shelf. Okay. Oh, that, that's what it is. Uh, it's uh, So the number one is on a little bottle on the shelf. And when you pull down the bottle inside, uh, you see the same bottle filled with icky worms. So that's what we got, number one. 
bottle, bottle full of icky worms. That's cute, actually. It's really cute. It's like you can look inside each of these things, then I guess you open each one and there's something inside of it. That's, that's pretty cool. It's a neat idea for an advent calendar. Uh, I like it. Okay. What is inside? All right. So that goes over here. This goes over here. These can go whoop, whoop, right over here. All right. Thanks again. Let's open up some of these. I was just taking a look because I saw, I know Hells Dells said that she had sent something that she expected to be picked up today. And I don't see anything here now that is, looks like it's from overseas. So uh, I guess I'll have to go back and look for that on Monday. All right. So uh, what do we have here? We have, oh, Mr. Bill. Oh, no, Mr. Bill. Okay, so uh, Saturday Night Live classic Mr. Bill cat toy. And it says, oh, no, ever since Bill arrived at the Academy, I've been thinking of the Mr. Bill sketches from Saturday Night Live. One for his endowment and one for the Academy from Allison, who is Purple Thistle on Discord. Purple Thistle, that's a cool name on Discord. Uh, Allison, Purple Thistle, thank you for the, oh no, Mr. Bill. Okay, uh, we're going to take one Mr. Bill and put it right out here. Right meow. Here, would you hang on to this for me? Would you? You want to hang on to that for me? Do you, do you want to hang on to that for me? Would you just please hang on to that for me? Oh no, Mr. Bill. Oh no, Mr. Bill! Oh no, Mr. Bill. Okay, uh, so perfect. That is, I, I, I had a feeling that somebody was going to send a Mr. Bill toy for little tiny Bill because it's too perfect. It, uh, I guess you could say it fits the bill. If you wanted to make a really, really bad wordplay, uh, you could do that anyway. Oh, here's another thing. This one is addressed to Bill Floofson. That's a cool name too. Let's see what we got here for Mr. Bill Floof's son. We have, I see a packet of catnip and the nighttime catnip rolls. And why do they make us write so many notes? See the other note. Okay. Well, let's see what we got here. Uh, the other note uh, does not have a note. The other note actually just says a gift for you uh, and is missing the note. So uh, Joe and Haffers, um, I'm guessing, I, you actually said you sent a whole bunch of stuff and they probably split it up. I saw you say that on Discord, so I know. There's probably more to explain that note, but right now we have uh, nighttime catnip rolls and a tiny bag of Yao Catnip Mini, which are great things that I know Bill's gonna enjoy. And I know those are for Bill because you put it right in the return address. Let's see what else we have that might say it is for Bill Flufson. All right, cool. See, that makes it easy to figure out what goes together, too, doesn't it? Uh, now I just look for all the packages that are addressed to Bill Flufson, and I know they're all part of that same thing. That's pretty cool. I like that. You are really digging those claws into my leg, buddy. Do you know that? You know I have a leg in that thing? Okay, Bill was late to school, needs his school supplies. His original order was lost. Please use for Bill and as you see fit from Joe and Haffers. This is not a fortune cookie. See the other note. Wow. This is uh, this is almost like a, like how do you keep uh, Mr. A busy during mailbag? You just send him two notes that say, see the other note, right? Because uh, that's what we got here now. But uh, we'll keep going and see what happens. So these are super cute. Here we have a little uh, fuzzy balls. One's a rainbow and one is a cyan colored thing. And here we have the Skitter Slices, always a popular uh, mouse toy to play fetch with. So we will add that to the growing pile of Mr. Bill's stuff. I'm going to hang on to his catnip, though, because I see that some kids that are a little bit older are already going for all of that. All right, Joe Haffers, uh, with, let's see what else we could... Oh, oh, I'm sorry, look at that. I just punched... Oh, I punched you right in the face. It wasn't very hard. I barely tapped her. But you get very hissy when there's kittens around, don't you? Yes, you do. You get very hissy around strange kittens. I know. Okay. Uh, let's see. No, not that one. That is an address. I didn't cover up somehow, though. This one just says Kitten Academy. Uh, Mishi. Kitten Academy. One more? One more? Bill Floofson. All right, so this is it.
uh, wand, a good wand. These are the the, the short um, wand with the. These got these cool little ribbons on one of them, and the other one has like a piece of fabric. Those are good wands, and it says, "Cheese makes everything taste better." See the other note from Joe and Haffers. Well, uh, the one thing we don't see here is cheese. So next week, I guess, uh, or last week, I guess. Somebody will have to tell me if that's the case, but uh, uh, Joan Haffers, either way, um, thank you very, very much. This is super generous for little Bill Floofson, and I know he's going to love it. Where is, where is little Bill Floofson? I feel like he should be here. I'm guessing DJ probably stole him to bring him upstairs to hang out with her. This is uh, all these kittens. Everybody that's at the Academy right now is uh, definitely for first DJ. Well, I, I say everybody. Everybody's a little bit of an exaggeration. I think Till prefers me, and I think Serenity prefers Serenity. Um, but other than that, I think all the kittens really prefer DJ and spend their time uh, snuggling up with her when they can, which is sweet, and I think it's good for her, and she's loving it. So uh, it's super cute. So I wouldn't be surprised, was my point, if Bill is hanging out with her either by choice, uh, his or hers, I suppose. It's choice either way, isn't it? Okay, uh, so Mishi60. Let's see here. Hmm, interesting. Ooh, these are cool. These are little felt fish uh, bones. That, well, they're fish, but they're embroidered with little uh, fish bones. The embroidery is super cute. Uh, I like it. It's just a little drawing of a fish, and you can see that, uh, that they did it sort of freehand using their sewing machine. Uh, at least I assume they did. They probably... Oh, no. You know what? That's weird. They are exactly the same down to the tiny little flaws. So what they've done here is they've got a, one of those machines that follows you know, a, a computer pattern and does it exactly the same every time, but uh, the pattern that they put into the machine is one that looks like it was done by hand. Pretty clever. It's cute. They're very cute. Uh, adorable, I might say, and had good Halloween colors, I see, orange and black. Uh, and the, the, uh, the, the drawing, you know, is it's super adorable. So, inside, uh, let's see, we got the note from the merchant on Etsy, so evil, that's cute, that's S-E-W, so evil, uh-huh, I get it, um, but is there a note? Oh, to be marinated, one dead fish toy for Maggie, and the other for Serenity, that's sweet, that makes sense, okay, um, but I am going to have to marinate them, so, uh, let's put these with your notes, so I don't forget who gets what. You think I can get them all to sit in this envelope? Yeah, okay. We'll put them in this one for now. And we'll put it right here with the stuff that I need to take care of. That looks perfect. Uh, thank you, Mishi60. Uh, that, that looks like um, something that they're going to have fun with. And it's so cute. It really is cute. I, ho I hope you don't think me mentioning that it was done by a machine was saying it's any worse for that. It's, it's very well done. It's super adorable. I just think it's interesting when, you know, they've, they've gone through such an effort to make something that is so charmingly handmade, you know, uh, that way. And then it's man sort of manufactured, you know. That probably, whatever. You know what? It doesn't matter. It's just cute. Uh, this says, um, hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Oh, oh, we can see what this is. Cat tunnel bed three and one. Oh, this is one of those big cat tunnels that looks like a donut and has um, you know a little bed in the middle, and then it's got some holes cut in the sides so the kittens can go in, much like you put jelly in a donut. Uh, that's super cool. But then the one thing that this has that I have not seen before uh, appears to be animal ears. And there's three different beds on the picture here, so I can't tell which thing we might have got um, and maybe what it might have as far as animal ears goes or accessories. But uh, but we're going to have to open it, I think, to find out, depending on what this says. It says, Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Thanks for all you do to help these kitties. This is for Teaspoo, Sleepy Spoon, but his friends can use also, if possible, to be deployed for use immediately. Still kind of hoping for faculty from Fern Fan on Discord. Fern Fan. 
Uh, thank you so much for sending uh, this the, the bed for Teaspoon. And um, I know what you're saying about the, the faculty thing. He's been here such a long time. He's set, obviously, every record for how long any kitten has stayed here at the Academy. And uh, fingers crossed, continues to hold that record forever because uh, he's been here quite a while. And, of course, DJ and I have grown very attached to him, but... Uh, but that's, that's all a very long way of saying that it's still best for everybody, uh, including DJ and I. There you go, let the air in. Um, it's still best for everybody if he ends up finding someone who can devote all of their attention to him. You know? I, I think he deserves... I think he deserves that. If we can find that for him, it would be better than him staying with us. So that's what I hope for him. Um, but it's okay for you to hope something different too, you know, that's, it's, it's good. So I can see whatever this is, it looks kind of like a fox or something, but you can see there's animal ears on the tunnel. Uh, these got nice little Velcro things on them though, so I should be able to open this up and, well, fingers crossed, I'll be able to put it back. Let's find out. Oh, the Velcro things are separate though. Those are going to get lost. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay, like that, then. Okay, cute, very cute. There's the opening. Kind of an abstract pattern for the uh, for the tunnel. I thought it might have an animal print, but it's these hexagons. That's actually very pretty. And I like the warm colors with just a little bit of blue in there. You go well with just about any decor. Um, the ears are, whoops, colored on this side. I see. And then there's a hole on either side. And these aren't zipped together, but you can see it would actually unzip into two C-shaped uh, tunnels if you wanted. This side unzips right here where the ear is. And then you would have... Um... Oh, I see that. This tunnel has both ears on it, too. So if you do unzip it into two separate tunnels, it still makes sense, right? You don't have one tunnel that has... Well, you don't have two tunnels that each have one ear, which would look a little weird. Uh, so that's smart. That's that's a clever design. I like uh, pretty much everything about this. Now, we have never put out a tunnel that is a donut tunnel like this. Um, it's not the first one that we've been sent. We normally avoid them because it's very difficult to find a way to place a camera uh, to see when the kittens are inside it. Um, but I feel like we have uh, a good opportunity to deploy this in our spa where generally there's not, you know, a camera all the time anyway. So no big loss and they might really like that. So that could be a real fun thing to try out. Uh, also, it might just be time to try one out. I think I could find a way to get a camera in there if it turned out to be the most popular spot. However... Uh, all that said, I'm going to wait just a little while before I deploy it because it's really nice. And the outside, uh, unlike most of the tunnels that we have, the outside is all uh, like this fuzzy fabric material. It looks real soft. It's so nice. So, um, and I didn't even put these back on. See, I said they'd get lost and I didn't even put them in. Um, instead, I've loaded this like one of those cans of nuts so that when I open it, it's just going to explode out. Uh, Fake cans of nuts, I should say. You know, uh, so uh, what was I saying? Um, I don't think I'm going to deploy it right away because we are still working out a couple litter box issues around here. Uh, and I know that the tunnel that's behind me has been a target for that in the past. Uh, and there's one tunnel that's still in the, in the wash right now from that. And I'd rather not put this through the wash immediately. Uh, so uh, I, if it's okay with you, I will set it aside and we will deploy it uh, shortly, though. I would, I would like to try it out. It looks so soft and nice, and it's getting to be that season where they're going to want something warm to sort of hide and play in. I think it's perfect. So uh, thank you very, very much for that. Look at you causing all this trouble. Look at you causing all of this trouble. All right, let's make a stack out of this stuff I'm taking out of here with me. There we go. We'll try to. Okay, we got two more boxes here. Let's start with this one is interesting. Um, it looks like it opens like a shoebox. Might be a recycled shoebox. That's good. We like that. So let's try it. Oh, it is a recycled shoebox. I see a picture of a shoe over here, or at least the tiny front of a shoe. Very cool. Ooh, 
Ooh, let's see. Okay, there's a note inside. It says Kitten Academy. And I see some more. How? Oh, what is that? This is the coolest thing you've got. Okay, so hang on a second. Um, first off, the letter is sealed with sealing wax, and the wax stamp is a Kitten Academy logo. What even? I've got to hang on to that envelope now, don't I? Uh, super cool. I should have opened the envelope nicer, considering I have to hang on to it. But no, I didn't. That's thinking ahead. So that's super cool. The Sealing Wax uh, Kitten Academy. I love it. Uh, and um, let's see. Hang on now. There's going to be more. This box might even be fun for these kids to play in a little bit. I don't know. Do you think? Nah, I don't think they'd get that open. It's got too much of a lip. Uh, that's fun, though. Okay, so here we have some really cute little, um, uh, what are these? Why do I want to say, oh, the Golden Crowned Kinglet, apparently. I had no idea. I would never have said those words. Oh, and we have something falling out here as well. All right, let's get into it. Beautiful kitty. Look at that. Uh, we have Gray and Kit. Oh, Kit, look at that. So pretty. Uh, the note says, oh, this is... Now that's interesting, isn't it? Oh, you're going to think this is really interesting. Whoever sent me this letter, uh, Mags, Mags97, you are going to find this fascinating because I do. Um, let me read your note first and then I'll tell you what's so interesting about it. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, this summer we found a kitten beside the road near where we live. We took her to get checked out and the vet estimated she was about four weeks old. Aww. Uh, the kitten was in good condition, it passed her vet's tests, and we've decided to keep her. It's been an adventure, but I have to say that watching Kitten Academy helped prepare us for taking care of a little kitten, from getting baby receiving blankets to teaching her how to use a litter box. We have a renewed appreciation for what you do. Custard! Oh, I'm sorry, that's right in the mic. I apologize. Custard! Custard and Logan are fighting through the door as they do, but that's, oh, and the kittens are going to go over to observe. That's interesting. Custard, come on, buddy. Let's go. All right, now he's going to walk away. I hope. Custard, come on, bud. Okay, smart. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So, um, uh, from getting baby receiving lines, teaching her how to use a litter box, we have a renewed appreciation for what you do. We named the kitten Kit after a children's book series. That's this is Kit then. Uh, yes, uh, about cats that our son read when he was in grade school. The book series is called Warriors, and young warriors uh, in the books are called Kits. Uh, this is Gray, by the way. Okay. On behalf of Kit and our senior cat Gray, who's 16, we are sending along these goodies for you to use as you see fit. Thank you for all you do. Mags 97. All right, Mags, here's what's so interesting about this is uh, you've done this wonderful uh, Kitten Academy sealing wax stamp right here with our logo on it, and it's beautiful. Um, what you, I mean, obviously, you put the letter into the envelope, and then you put the hot wax on it, and then you put the stamp on it, it makes the stamp, it's beautiful. Well, the ink that you use to write the letter to us um, uh, is thermally sensitive and disappears when it gets hot. So, in the middle of your letter, where the stamp was on both sides, you see a big spot where your ink yes. is it's gone. It's just almost entirely gone. There's enough of a shadow there that I can still read it, but you see those two big holes are exactly where this would be on the inside. Uh, that's pretty cool, huh? Something to think about that you wouldn't normally consider, uh, you know, how, how these inks are going to react to temperature. So... So I think what I'm trying to say is uh, if you have used that same pen to write your diary, do not leave it on the radiator. Or do, I guess, if you want to make sure that stays secret. But uh, either way, uh, here's the box. So what you have sent are feline greenies. Always a big hit. Uh, DJ loves to give the crunchy treats so that we got those. That's perfect. We have... These cute little Halloween toys with the weird eyes. They've got this entire line with these weird eyes. It says, creepy cat toy. Uh, I think they mean just the pumpkin. The other ones aren't that creepy. They're just Halloween-y. Super adorable. Thank you for that. Uh, Churu kitten chicken recipe. And then one more thing, super fun, that we should put out right away. A 
No, oh, pardon me. Halloween pop-up cat tent with a catnip. Oh, that's generous. Oh, it's got a little bat hanging in it. He's so cute. You can never have enough little pop-up cubes. Uh, so this is definitely, this, I guess, can be our first Halloween decoration. And maybe it will remind me to bring out the rest. There we go. I hear Till up there just yelling and yelling and yelling like she does. Oh, that's cute. That little bat's adorable. You see that little guy right there? Do you see that little guy right there? Yes, you do. Do you want to check him out? Here. Here okay. I'm just going to, I don't know where to put this. So I'm going to put it right there for a minute. All right. Well, thank you very much. That's wonderful stuff. Your little kitty is so cute. And it's very sweet of you to say that we were helpful in some way for you to raise him. He looks just like little Squall to me. Um, super adorable. So uh, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, this then, I guess I'm going to put, um, well, I'm going to take it downstairs with that stuff. So we'll put it over there, I think, for Meow. And then one more box here dressed just to Kitten Academy. Let's take a look. Hi, Bill. You want to come out from back there? Come on, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my goodness, you're such a little pear. Your belly is so big and round. And then your rib cage is so tiny. Oh my goodness. You're shaped like my dad. <laughs> okay. Like everybody's dad, if I'm honest. Like I'm getting to be more and more every day. Okay, uh, let's see here. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you for all you do. The cats, kittens, and community are wonderful. I saw this and had to send it for the new Jurassic Park slash Jungle Room. Hope the cats enjoy. From Gina, a.k.a. at Jin Meow on Discord. I like that. Uh, at G-I-N-M-E-O-W. Jin Meow on Discord. I like that. Okay, uh, um... It is, like you say, a jungle play combo that appears to have two pop-up cubes and a tunnel that can go in between them with a little mesh piece for them to look through, and then it's all decorated with jungle animals. Uh, that is the perfect addition to this very room, and I like it. I, um, what I have been... What I probably need to do um, is move all of this stuff over to the bigger living room and then we can lay it out a little bit more and have fun with it um but more importantly then i can let the kids play with all this fun stuff that they love so much and close the door when we need to which right now hasn't been such an option um so i might do that or the other thing i've been considering then is just sort of spreading stuff out more around the room and uh, using the other sides of the room that we aren't currently using. Uh, either way, I think we'll, we'll need to do that to start to get things to fit in here. But uh, this, I think, is probably even a better match than the tunnel I put in. So I'm, I'm excited to try this out in here. I appreciate that very much. So uh, I'm actually not even going to put this away. I'm going to put it right over. OK, buddy, I don't want you to freak out when I slide this box past you, though. So come here. I know. I'm going to put it right over there so that we've got it in the room. Uh, for the rest of the stuff, I am going to put most of it away, I think, right now. So thank you all so much for sending stuff. Uh, I'm going to switch off the mic, and then uh, we will clean all this stuff up, then we'll end the archive. Oh, speaking of archives, that's the big news. Oh, my goodness, and it's so huge. I'm not going to get into it. Um, but I mentioned, I think, last time we talked that we were going to start um, changing the way that things got uploaded and the way videos are handled, and we've started off just at the very, very start. Uh, but I just want to remind you that's happening, and I'm very excited about it. It's uh, People are so much better than robots when it comes down to it. I know. I know. It's a hot take. Don't cancel me. Um, but, uh, but it is nice um, to see uh, people that are so excited to help out and have been for such a long time. And I'm the one that's been dragging my feet on that. Um, but, uh, but I recognize more and more all the time how... Not just necessary, it is how wonderful it is that we have so many people uh, willing to help out in so many ways. So, uh, you know, I've started to, um, to, I guess, sort of take advantage of that and, and do what I can to, to enable uh, people to, to 
get more done. So at some point in the near future, uh, once we kind of got this tested out and know that things are rolling the way that we like them, uh, I certainly intend to open that up to everybody so that when, when we have uh, videos and stuff, um, they get, hi buddy, I know we got to clean you. Uh, when we have videos and photo shoots and things, all that just gets published in sort of its raw format and people are welcome to, you know, take them and remix them or edit them however they like. And then they also, of course, get distributed to the people that uh, will be posting them on the Kitten Academy channel that way. I think that's fun, um, personally. Uh, you know, we've always had the, the media policy of basically you can use any of our stuff just as long as you make sure that uh, you give us, you know, prominent credit for it so that people hear about us through it and can find their way back to our website uh, or YouTube. And uh, I think this is just sort of that, you know, to the taking it to the next level. So I'm excited. All right. That said, now I'm going to turn off the mic and do all those other things. Now you all want to come sit on my lap, huh? The mailbag's over and I get to stand up. Now, now get the lap kitty song. Now, now. You guys got a great time to come sit up here. Sit right up there, okay? Great. Good. Okay, uh, let's take this downstairs. Take this over to
Oh, what a perfectly sized mailbag. Jelly Bud, I think DJ is looking for you. Little pear buddy. Oh yeah, the only kind of coding you do is pair programming? No, that's too obvious. Uh... Alright, uh, so I thought of one other thing I meant to tell all of you, and not that I think it's important now in any context, but uh, yesterday as part of us trying to kind of get poops and things under control around here, I did all the litter box sterilizations. So we replaced all the litter boxes in the house with temporary ones. Uh, all the real litter boxes are emptied out and in the garage waiting to be cleaned. And I did, uh, you know, like I cleaned up all the litter box areas and uh, you know, I used like three different cleaning products, including bleach in each place, uh, obviously not at the same time, but uh, just had to make sure everything was fully sterilized. So, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, that helps things a little bit. And I do know Dr. K has recommended, uh, I think it was Dr. K, it was either Dr. K or Dr. P uh, encouraged us to do that, um, uh, to use bleach around the little litter boxes a little more often, I think, which is uh, kind of a mixed bag as far as recommendation goes. I know something to sterilize that area more often is a good idea and when I should do that. Uh, but cat. P contains quite a bit of ammonia, and uh, bleach and ammonia together are a very bad trip. So I don't know about using bleach around a live litter box. <laughs> but it's great if you've already sort of made sure that it's you know, cleaned off once. It's great for sterilizing things, these kittens. So I, I love it for that. Um, just a note. Uh, all right, so... I guess that's it. I'm going to end the archive here. Uh, big question mark about when I'm going to get those started uploading, but soon, I think, real soon, those are the photos. Uh, they're, they're top on my list now. We've got the micros headed that direction already. So, uh, yeah. All right. Thank you.